The way you hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me I feel so holy, 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 holy The way you hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me I feel so holy, 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 holy The way you hold me, hold me Feel so holy, 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 holy. The way you hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me. Feel so holy, 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 holy. It's four chords going round and round and round all over the song. The song is played on the piano. It's quite hard for a beginner to play in that very key on the guitar. So I showed you several versions how you can play the song without a capo, with a capo in different positions and also strummed or picked. So pick the version out that fits you the most. This is the important message here because it's the same four chords all over and over again. It's a beautiful song. It's a beautiful chord progression. It has some kind of like gospel feel in it. I will show you first a beginner version which has kind of like uh, common chords you might know already. So let's start now with Holy. I would like you to show you the first version. The way you hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me. Okay, so we have the cold thing here that we stay with our ring finger in the third fret of the B string all the time for all the chords. Just for the very first one we can just lift it up, but for the other three chords we just lower it in the third fret of the B string. So we start with G and we play it in a very easy version. Middle finger, third fret. E string, the low E string, and you need to mute the string which is right next to it, the A string, with the back of your finger. And just strum until the B string. Don't strum the top string, the E string. The next chord is a D with an F sharp in the bass. For this version we're not in the original key, we're one step up, one half step. So we're not in the key of F sharp, which is the original version, we're in the key of G. So G, and then we go to the chord called D over F sharp, second fret, E string with your index finger, and we mute the next string, the A string again, then open D string, second fret, G string, and third fret, B string with your ring finger, as I said before. And then we move, after we did that once, this chord progression from G to D with F sharp and bass, we go to E minor 7, index finger 2nd fret A string, middle finger 2nd fret D string and ring finger 3rd fret B string. And we strum 5 strings here, E, A, D, G and B. Okay, and then we go to C added 9. Middle finger, 3rd fret A string, index finger, 2nd fret D string, and the ring finger still is in the 3rd fret of the B string. And we only hit the A, D, G, and B string. Beautiful chord. So it's G, D with F sharp and bass, E minor 7, and C added 9. This is kind of like the beginner version if you've already checked out some chords on the guitar and if you're capable of putting a capo on your guitar because you ha actually have one, you can play this version too. Now we are in the original key of F sharp and we use those chords here. And we start with a very easy F, no bar chord here. Ring finger, third fret D string from the capo point of view. One, two, three. Middle finger, second fret G string. Index finger, first fret B string. Only hit those three strings. And then you go to C with E in bass. 
middle finger 2nd fret D string, open G string and 1st fret B string. Only hit those three strings. So F and then C with E and bass. Then we go to D minor, open D string, 2nd fret G string, 3rd fret B string, 1st fret E string. play a B sus B flat sus 2 by playing it like this ring finger third fret D string pinky third fret G string index finger first fret B string you can also of course play a bar chord here if you already can do this and if you have a capo you can also play another version put it into the sixth fret and then you play a C chord. Okay. Third fret A string, one, two, three. Second fret D string, first fret B string. Only play the inner four strings, don't play the both E strings here. And then you go with the middle finger to the second fret of the A string. You leave the index where it was and you play A, D, G and B string again. Also only four strings. Then we play A minus 7. Beautiful chord there. Index stays where it was. Middle finger goes to the second fret of the D string and we play again only four strings A, D, G and B string. And then we need to play the F chord which we play like this without a bar chord again. You can, if you can do it, but you don't need to. Ring finger, third fret, A string, pinky, third fret, D string, middle finger, second fret, G string, index fingers, still in the first fret of the B string and you play those four strings. Beautiful version too. I mean, there's nothing wrong with any version of it. It's just so you can play it in a way that fits you the best. And now we have a version without pick. I just pluck the string with my fingers. More for the advanced players, I guess. I pluck the low E string, 2nd fret, and 3rd fret G string. And I only pluck those two strings with the thumb and my middle finger. Okay. hit any other strings like I just did. And then you jump to the first fret of the E string, first fret of the G string and to the second fret of the B string and you only plug those three strings with the thumb, index and middle finger. And then we go to sixth fret A string, fourth fret D string and sixth fret G string. Again thumb, index and middle finger. And then 2nd fret, 4th fret, 4th fret on the A, D and G string for a B power chord. And you can, after you pluck the strings, let them ring for a while and then you mute them with your fingers again. And if you have trouble with this, just stick for one chord. and train this rhythm.